we are wandering around Monza, the beautiful city of Monza. And this is the magnificent Duomo di Monza. Ecco bello. You like it, sweet um? Si, è meraviglioso. Si. So this one was actually founded in the 6th century by the Lombard Queen, Fiodolinda, and originally it was a chapel, mm. and the construction you see now is from the 1300s, Gothic style. Si. She's actually buried inside the cathedral. Yeah, this is the actual burial yeah. place of Queen Fiodolinda, and yeah. not the not, castle yeah. in Vezio. <laughs> and she converted a lot of Lombards, which were a Germanic people, to the Catholicism. So I think that's why you yeah. see her name scattered around all yeah, the streets. Yeah, there's, there's a couple of streets named after her and maybe a couple of hotels as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, it's lovely. Yeah, you walk around and explore the town, so you? Yeah, should we have a quick look at the rest of, yeah. the, rest of the square? Because that's really lovely too. We've got cafes and restaurants here. Yeah, it's just a nice place just to be, just to hang out. Depends what kind of shopping you like. But there's all sorts. There's all sorts along here. From very expensive to the very reasonable, like H&M. And they're on sale. <laughs> so wow. Not a bad choice, is it? Mom? Place to come to do your shopping. <laughs> It all looks very beautiful too. And if I turn around, I'm just going to turn around now and show you something else that's very beautiful. So this structure here is the Arengario. It was built in the 13th century. It used to be the town hall. Mm -hmm. Now um, it's just a monument where people congregate. But it's still a lovely structure. Yeah, isn't it, isn't it beautiful? Yeah. So this is what you'll see if you come to Mindset. Not bad, is it? <laughs> jump in there and pour down. Oh, but look at this lovely square. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, there goes the bell. There goes our bell. Look. Have they stopped? 
Yeah, there's lots of nice Stuff bars now. and restaurants along here. Yeah, and beautiful quite a, quite architecture. A nice... If you like beautiful architecture, look at this. Yeah, look and there's a that. nice nightlife, I think, because we wandered around. Yeah, last night. Yeah, after we went to yeah. my family. So it's not as hot in the evening, so that's when you can come out and really enjoy. Yeah. Really enjoy and have a good Italian experience. Uh -huh. Okay, here we go. And it looks like there's a lot of sales on. Yeah. I think we're going to make our way towards the Royal Palace of Monza. Mm -hmm. Apparently there's a nice uh, park that mm -hmm. looks a bit Englishy oh, kind yeah. of park. And inside there's a Royal Palace. Okay. So... That's where we're headed yeah, now, Yeah, it'll be nice to it? go in there and then maybe we'll have a nice scream inside. Mm -hmm. I think my auntie's coming this afternoon and we're going to go around her house for some pasta, Ooh, hopefully. Oh, so nice. We're getting fed up of eating for <laughs> and pizza all the time. <laughs> we need a bit of pasta. <laughs> yeah. Don't think we, we haven't actually had any pasta since we've been in Italy and we've been here a while, haven't yeah, we? At least a week. Yeah, when you're staying in the hotel. Or a um, B&B. Or, or a B&B, yeah, it's... Um, well, we could have had pasta, to be honest, couldn't we? Yeah. We wouldn't have been there, yeah. Sometimes it's more convenient, isn't it, just to have... Uh... Yeah, sometimes we're not that hungry. No. It's been hot. And yeah. When you're on holiday, sometimes you're, just, you're, just, you're nibbling all day. We'd you know? rather have, you have gelato. ice creams and, yeah. Then, so you get uh... full up on gelato. <laughs> yeah. And then at the end of the day, you're just not hungry. No. Okay, Oh. So what's this church here then? This is um, St. Saint Peter's Church, San Pietro, and this is Piazza San Pietro. San Pietro. This is a nice place to hang out. I yeah, think. look at this. And there's the church there. St. Peter's Church, or San Pietro. What a nice square. A tiny little square, isn't it? And look at that architecture. Beautiful Italian architecture. And it's so, so beautiful and so Italiano. Mm -hmm. Look Italiano. Okay. All right. So this is um, Chiesa del Caro Biolo. It was built in the 13th century. They got plaques outside most of the monuments. So <laughs> that's where we get our information sure. from. Yeah, yeah. that's um, the yeah. best way to do it. <laughs> yeah. But still, it's a lovely piazza. It is. It's really. so, it's so, so beautiful. That's what we like to, the, this is what we like to do in Italy, isn't it? Hang out in piazzas. Yeah, yeah. Just hang out. Just and hang out and look, admire the lovely architecture. Yeah.
فيلا في على المنزل I'm absolutely outstanding It has a beautiful fountain And it has also beautiful garden all around Okay, isn't that outstanding? And let's go and see. Yeah. Hey, John, what do you think? Are I you think impressed? it's nice, yeah. It's a lovely palace. Yeah. This was built in the 18th century in the yeah. neoclassical style. The Empress of Austria gave it as a summer residence to her son, mm -hmm. Ferdinand, Ferdinand of Habsburg. As a, oh, it's yeah, a nice a one. Yeah. It's so, a nice present from your mother, isn't it? Yeah, we wish our mm. parents would give us something like this. That but. would be nice, yeah. <laughs> we should maybe do some hints. Yeah. <laughs> we can hint. Villa Colotta and, and now this one. A present from the parents. It's a lovely villa, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's outstanding. Outstanding villa. Yeah.